Cool. All right, so this one's called Push Rod Stroke, okay? Um, this one everybody thinks is, is pretty tough, but it's pretty pretty easy. You just got to do the process, okay? So I'm not going to talk much during this because I want you to know exactly what you got to do, okay? All right, so, so for Push Rod Stroke, if I was asked to do the inspection, the air inspection, I'd say my wheels are chalked, my vehicle's secure. All right, dashboard on, engine off. Both buttons in. All right. I'm just gonna wait for my air pressure to stabilize up here. Okay. It's almost there. All right. And I'd say my air pressure is at 103 PSI. So what I'm gonna do is go mark my push rod stroke on my trailer because my truck has hydraulic brakes, all right? Or has disc brakes, all right? So she's gonna ask you, she's gonna show you this picture right here. She's not gonna, she's not gonna really want you to get underneath the trailer. It could be dangerous or unsafe. So she's gonna ask you, where would you mark the push rod stroke on here? You take a pen or take your finger and you're gonna say, I would mark the push rod stroke right at the brake chamber wall, right here, okay? And it's gonna be on this one. This is with your brakes released, like our brakes are released right here, both our buttons are in. So we're gonna mark the push rod at the brake chamber wall. The next step is then to put our brake buddy in. So this is our brake buddy right over here, all right? The easiest way to do this is to push up your steering wheel. You push this in like here, like this. Get this underneath, and then push down on the telescopic column. All right, then you're gonna lock it in place. Our brake buddy's in. So now you're gonna tell her your air pressure again. And I can see my air pressure is at, ooh, it's below right now. So I'm gonna build up my air pressure until I'm above 90 again. This might happen to you sometimes. So I just build it right back up to that. 92, 93 PSI, that's fine. All right, so I put in my brake buddy. My air pressure is 93 PSI and now I'm gonna go measure my push rod stroke. She's gonna ask you where you're gonna measure it from. And you're gonna say, I'm gonna measure it from the brake chamber wall to my mark on the push rod. Okay. You're gonna be, okay, that's great. That's awesome, you're gonna, you're gonna measure it. So you're gonna tell her at that point that you have size 30 short stroke brake chamber on this, which has a allowable adjustment limit of two inches. Okay, so you want to be within your two inch limit. Okay, so again, I would measure from brake chamber wall to my mark on my push rod, and I'd make sure, since it's a size 30 short stroke, that it was within my two inch limit. At this point, now you're going to take out your brake buddy. Take your brake buddy out, put it back. You're going to secure your vehicle. Vehicle secure, and now I'm gonna tell her my schedule one. And I'm gonna say, push rod stroke of any brake exceeds the adjustment limit, that's a major defect. I would notify my operator, write it in my daily inspection, and I'm not permitted to drive. I'm done. That's the way you're gonna do it if you're if you're told to describe it or if, you, if she brings out the picture and she shows you, instead of having you mark go underneath the trailer. I'll show you later on how we're gonna go mark it and how we're gonna go measure it, okay? But um, for the most part, she'll ask you to, uh, she'll ask you to go off this picture. And again, this picture, this is of your brakes released. This is your buttons are in, okay? All right, and then this is with your brake buddy when your brakes are applied. Basically, when you're pushing down on your brake and your brakes are applied, this push rod comes out of the brake chamber, right? And then you measure from your mark that you made originally 
to where it drew it drug it out because you pushed it on your brakes you mark you measure from your mark to the brake chamber wall and that would be your adjustment limit on that brake and for a size 30 short stroke you're allowed a two inch limit and that's uh you can see on this thing here i'll just show you this is this is your ruler you can get one upstairs as well but it sh shows it for a size 30 come over here that's the two inch adjustment limit so if we were to have something else i believe in your air brake course you probably had 24s and your adjustment limit was an inch and three quarters well on that trailer back there their size it's a size 30 short stroke so you're allowed two inch a two inch limit okay so when you push on that brake your that can only move out two inches you know okay it's got to be within that two inch limit or it'd be a major defect okay now, okay. yeah let's push rod stroke okay all right you can yeah you can stop